coaching contracts have been now finalized for Nebraska. Uh, we learned Bob Wager's salary. It's three hundred and fifteen thousand uh, dollars. That means Matt Rule's ten assistant coaches will make five point five two million. Um, with strength coach Corey Campbell in there, they'll make five point nine seven million. Uh, but the five point five two million is almost a million and a half less than what the allotted seven million rule was given. And we did get further confirmation on this from uh, Nebraska that Corey Campbell does not count towards the seven million, even though we were told one way it did. Now he doesn't. Um, so Rule had a lot of additional money to play with. It tells me they're going to use a lot of that money on the other side of the staff, whether it's Dr. Susan Elza, Sean Patton, the support staff people. Uh, but what do you guys think of the final salary numbers? Reflective of a young staff. I mean, mm -hmm. this is what it is. Um, especially those guys at the bottom, Garrett McGuire at 285. And Garrett McGuire, not much experience at all. Rob Dvorak, not much experience at all. EJ Barthel's got some experience. But those guys, um, I mean, Rule has made it clear that he likes the idea of having a young, hungry staff. You don't have to pay those guys a lot of money, some of those guys, right? It's almost like a military. You have the generals, the two coordinators. You have kind of like the lieutenants, the next line of coaches, then kind of like the foot soldiers. And, right. and, and those younger coaches, they're the foot soldiers going into mm -hmm. like 15 high schools a day, doing mm -hmm. exactly what they're told. Mm -hmm. You hire older veteran coaches. We've had this discussion before. A guy that's 57 years old that's coached for 30 years, and you tell him to go into 15 schools. Yeah, how's, I mean, Mark, how's Mark Whipple going to handle that? You know, just for an example, like that type of coach. Foley though will handle it. Well, yeah, because he's 55. Foley understands and is in lockstep with Rule, mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. as much as anybody on that staff. So mm -hmm. that that makes sense. And yeah, my, yeah, my takeaway too is I'm glad that they're spreading that pool of money, that significant pool of money, and beyond just the full-time staff that you're they're finding new creative ways isn't it this already like one of the largest staffs not just obviously coaching staffs but like football staffs in the big 10 yes it is one of the i mean they're ones. counting like bigger in ohio state i did a head count and there's like 50 right now um if you count like a secretary and the coaches yeah it's that's informative i mean people do ask you sometimes i mean how big is that staff over there he i mean the Matt Rule, the head coach, essentially oversees a staff of 50 people. And he brought it. Matt Rule, think about this. He made 40 of his own hires mm. since taking over, and then he added 31 additional players. He kept eight that were committed, okay. so there's 39 total. So he made 31 player additions and 40 hires in two months. 71 new faces at Memorial Stadium. That he brought it big. himself. It's pretty big. That's a big number. It is. It's a big number. That's a lot for us to – try to get to know well, it's not just replacing people too they're bringing in new positions and so yeah. they're they're bolstering that entire staff from head coach down to secretary uh, as much as you could expect nutritionists strength yep. staff yeah um i mean the, the only i mean the, the key people that have stayed as we've hit on before uh donovan riola as the o-line coach ron brown who has a new title with player outreach he's no longer listed as an analyst mm -hmm. Um, I mean, those are the key people besides a couple of the recruiting people like Vince Ginta and Ryan yeah. Callahan. Those are big names. Yeah, those are big names. Big names. Even from the medical side, we've seen Dr. Lonnie Albers move on, uh, trainer Mark Meyer move on from the program. So even from that side, there's been shakeup. Sides, you know, a side that you normally wouldn't see maybe in the headlines, but they've gone from nutrition to strength to medical. On on some of the changes they've made in the program. God, when you now that we're talking about this, this is we're talking about massive change. And like it, it's surprising, but it shouldn't necessarily be just because like this is kind of what Matt Rule does. Like he, you know, Nebraska fans have been wanting a CEO. This is a definition of a guy that's literally putting his fingerprints on every level of this program from top to the very bottom. And um, you know, I guess that just the magnitude of it mm -hmm. kind of takes you back a little bit, but it shouldn't be a, a total stunner that Matt rule is going to these, this extent. Sean, Sean, is it mostly reminiscent of, of Bill Callahan? Um, yeah. Cause he brought in a lot of his own people too, but remember they didn't have near the support staffs back then. No, but the, just the CEO element of it. No doubt. And I, I think what's different about Matt rule is he's not afraid to, I mean, he's organized enough and detailed enough to bring in all of his own people where I feel like Frost, you know, he's like, I'm just taking everybody with me. And, and you know, Mike Riley, I, I feel like they get kind of guilted to keep some people that they're really not even sure about, that they just, you know, and, hmm. and they, they keep them around. 
Hmm. Rule, rules like I'm not doing that. Like I've done that. I've tried to do that at Carolina and it went terrible for me. And he told that to some of the coaches. He's like, Hey, I know you're a good coach. All right. I know you're good at your job here in this program, but I got to get my own people here. So he's been pretty honest about that. Um, where we, we've never seen a complete, almost clean out like this in a long time. Yeah. 